Okay, when I go to the thrift stores, there's a few things that I look at trying to find every time. As you saw in the last thrift store video, one are point and shoot cameras with film in it, and another that I rarely, if ever, hit are American made cast iron pans to complete my cast iron pan cookware. Normally, I end up finding, I actually do find a decent amount of cast iron, but it always ends up being like the, the Taiwanese or Chinese stuff that's not that great and don't feel like it's worthy to do the recovery on them. But today I went to the thrift store and I found this pan, a number five, which I don't have in my current lineup. And I was like, wow, it's a well-used pan. So well-used that all the carbon buildup on it is so thick and grungy that you can't even read any of the identifying marks on it. So I'm like, ha, huh, wonder what it could be. We're in a thrift store, it's probably Taiwanese again. And with my limited knowledge of identifying pans in the wild without the marks, my brain is like, well, if it's a good one, it's gonna have the little point handle with the, the triangle on there, if you can see that. That's what identifies a good pan. But then my other brain, because I have two brains, was like, wait a minute, you don't know shit about identifying pans in the wild. So like, you're right, other brain, so I bought it to see if it's any good. And I bring it home and I compare it with my number four 1940s to 50s vintage Griswold and I discover that the handles are pretty much identical. The pans, the weight is very similar, like this is about as much more heavier than I'd expect it to be for being slightly larger. The width of the walls are pretty much identical. This is nice, good, and smooth. So now I'm looking at this going, oh my god, did I just pick up a Griswold for eight bucks at a thrift store? Maybe I did. We're gonna find out when I clean this fucker up. But in the meantime, I'm looking at this logo here with the two rings that says Griswold, and I'm like, oh, I swear I could see those two rings buried under the carbon on here. So I think I might have scored myself a really nice pan. So stay tuned while we clean this up and see what's underneath it. It's gonna be a real pandemic! Okay, to get all this crap off of the pan and see what brand is actually under here, we're gonna toss it in the oven for a while, run on a cleaning cycle, and burn all the crap right off. So before I put it in there, I'm gonna put the GoPro in the oven so we can watch the whole process happen. Yeah. No harm in that, right? So we're just gonna take our oven, I got it line of some tin foil and one rack removed so that it catches all the crap that falls off. And then I'll put our pan in and burn it. So the cleaning cycle on my oven automatically starts the timer for four hours. But I noticed after about an hour and a half that the flame stopped lapping off the pan and it didn't quite smell like smoke anymore. So I hit the cancel button right then and let it coast for the rest of the night. The whole process of stripping and reseasoning a pan uses a lot of oven time at high temperatures, so I figure, see if I can cut two hours off the runtime and save a little energy. Hey, cast iron kids. Ready to see what the results of the incineration are? It's the moment of truth right here. Look at that pan. Oh, she is all, all the grime fell off and there's still a bunch of ash on top, so we can't tell what it is yet. We'll figure that out real soon. Go carefully. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. So check it out. Got myself a Griswold pan. Eight dollar thrift store score. The cool thing about this pan is the other day, I was making a two egg omelet with my number six pan, and I was like, hey, it's a really good pan, except I wish I had one slightly smaller for a two egg omelet. And then look at this, like two days later, it just enters my life full of rust and crud. So we're going to finish cleaning this out, reseason it, make it great again, 
to make an omelet in this pan. Look at that. Ugh. Filthy, filthy pans. Okay, I've got, I spent part of the morning scrubbing this pan good and clean, get all the old ash and crap off of it. You can see it's very much <clears throat> lighter than this already seasoned pan. So, we're gonna get the seasoning started here. Many, many coats of flaxseed oil on this to get it dark and as glass-like as this pan. So it's been in the oven, it's up to 175 degrees. So let's add a coat of oil and put it back in there and wait an hour. And do that over and over all day long until we have a beautiful ready to omelet pan. <laughs> What you might say is fantastic. But anyways, I realized at the beginning of when I started reseasoning this, I said 175 degrees in the oven. That was just to warm the pan up to a, a temperature where it started taking in the oil and I could still handle it. Each of those hour loops is done at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, so if any of you pan pedantics out there caught that little loose goosey of temperatures that's what I meant and that's what I did but anyways this pan looks brand spanking new now which means it's time to give it the omelet test all right it's omelet making time now I'm not gonna go into any detail on how to actually make an omelet because there's like 10,000 channels I can tell you to do this but what I am gonna do is go a lot lighter on the butter than I normally would like I'd probably put a whole tablespoon in there and just get a lot of buttery flavor, but to show off the, the surface, we're going with a fourth of a tablespoon instead of a full tablespoon. Just to see what happens. So let's get that butter in there all melty. And now it's egg time. Add some toppings. Got some, some pepperoncini and some parmesan. So with the GoPro, we're gonna GoPro this up and action cam working on an omelet. Here. Slide, Look at that slide, you can do one of these, rotate it. See that? That's that's a that's a thing of beauty. Just no stick. So now let's get this let's get this bugger on the plate. So you gotta spin it till it turns around and get to the proper right-handed unleashing. that. 